Hi everyone, I'm Cody W3AMG with BridgeCom Systems and today we're going to be showing you how to duplicate and or export the code plug on your DMR radio. Uh, so if you have a radio and you want to either transfer that code plug to a different radio or maybe you want to export it for a backup, share it with a friend, whatever that reason is, we're going to show you a simple way how you can export that code plug two different ways uh, depending on your use case. So let's get right into it. First thing I'm going to do is make sure my radio is turned on and then we're going to plug it in with this programming cable that comes with your radio. So we'll plug that into our computer here, just like that. And then on the side of the radio, there's this uh, rubber port we're gonna open, just like that. And now we can plug in the programming cable. There we go, awesome. Now let's jump into the computer. And from here, we're going to open up the programming software. Now, if you don't have this, you can go to bridgecomsystems.com and go to the support page and download it there. Uh, so in this case, we're just going to open it up. Awesome, there we go, it is open. Uh, so from here, what we want to do is make sure we can see the radio. So we're going to click on this COM port icon up here. And sure enough, there's the radio, it's connected, so we'll say OK. And at this point, we want to read from the radio. So this button right here, it says read from radio. Click on that. And I'm not going to worry about what's currently in my soft software. There we go. Read from radio. Do you wish to continue? OK. And we're given an option to choose either other data or digital contact list. Now, most likely you want to also include the digital contact list uh, because that's going to be all the contacts out there. Um, but if you already have that on your radio and you just want to store the rest of the information, uh, today we're going to leave that off of there. It'll save some time but most likely you also want to include that. Awesome, there we go. So we have our code plug loaded in the CPS. Now there's a couple of options here. Uh, we can go up to File and then Save As. So we can do a Save As. And then from here, I'm just gonna select the desktop and my code plug. And what's today, the 11th? Awesome, so we can simply save this here. Uh, this is perfect if you wanna back up your radio or maybe you wanna have different code plugs for different things, although this should have enough space, you don't really need to do that. Um, but it's a great way to just save that code plug. It's gonna be in the AnyTone format. You can easily re-import it into your radio or if you have a friend who has the same radio and same software version, you can actually give this to him and he can use it too. Uh, so it's a perfect for that. But let's say you want to switch to a different kind of radio. Maybe you got a mobile radio and you want to export your code plug to use on that. Uh, very similar, but we're not gonna be able to do the exact same thing. So we're gonna go up to Tool, Export, and then you wanna click on Export All. Now you can choose to do just a specific part of it, uh, but most likely you wanna do everything. So we're gonna click Export All, and then let's save that to our desktop. Um, now, I recommend you create a folder for this. Otherwise, you're gonna have a lot of files and not know, you won't know what to do with them. So I'm gonna create a folder. There we go. There we go, create a folder for it. And we're gonna store this inside of that folder. Um, Perfect, so we'll save it in there and export, yes. And what that's going to do is it's going to export all of that data um, into CSV files. And then there's gonna be an LST file which kind of compiles everything. Uh, now that's going to work to import onto a different radio, one of your other AnyTone radios. Uh, or if you, for some reason, want to try it on a different radio, you could even take that those CSV files and modify them to work with almost any other radio to take your information along with you. Uh, now keep in mind, if you want it to work on an AnyTone radio, you'll have to keep all those files together uh, so you can reference that LST file when you import it into your next radio. So just make sure to keep those files together, don't separate them, and you'll be all set. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you learned something from today's video. If you did, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell next to it to make sure you don't miss out on any more great content. That's all I have for you today. I'm Cody, W3AMG. 